Hello YouTube. Today I want to talk and show you my CNC controller. Uh, I think it's been a long time since I made a video about it and I wanted to show you from where it came to where it is now. It is actually started out with true hole parts and uh, with the dip version of that Mega 328 and two regular relays. The USB TTL adapter is still the same that I'm using and I designed this in uh, October of 2017. So it's been almost four years. I'm not sure if this is the... I don't write version numbers. I write just dates because a version number will not tell me when I designed it. Unfortunately, the date doesn't tell me which version the, the board is. So maybe I should put both on there. Um, anyway, this is my Phoenix CNC controller that I built for my CNC mill that I built back then. And um, uh, it had the regular outputs up here for probe uh, inputs for start, hold and reset. And then the pulse and direction signals for four uh, axes, whereas the a axis is a copy of the or uh, parallel to the y axis that's for bigger cncs or routers that have two motors on the y axis and here you can just directly connect the stepper drivers to it and then i have this a4 output which is gets turned on with the uh, code m7 and then here we have the stepper enables that you can connect so normally the way it is is once you turn your controller on the steppers are enabled so they will hold the motors in place so it doesn't drift and of course you can change that in the code that you're running uh, this runs Gerbil and um, anyway this was the one of the first versions still big and then it got updated to use all SMD parts. Um, it has a 12 volt regulator. It has a read relay for the coolant output and uh, I'm sorry for the stepper enable output. I'm not stepper spindle enable output. It has a relay. So that's just the switch to turn on and off the spindle. The spindle gets connected to variable frequency drive output, which is a 0 to 10 volt output, which most of the variable frequency drive drivers for spindles use 0 to 10 volt. But if it's a 0 to 5 volt, you can adjust it with this trim part. And it has a MOSFET. For the 12 volt output for the coolant where you can control a solenoid and it has also because some um, frequency variable frequency drivers work apparently with 5 volt pulse with modulation output so I, I added that as well and here you have the limit inputs which all have a diode a protection diode input and a capacitor so you can connect your limit switches here you have this is the input for maximum 24 volts plus and minus and you have also power 12 volt for the stepper driver board that i also have that you can connect here so you will have all the connections down here the stepper driver board has all the pulls, step and direction. I first called it pulls and then I called it step. Same thing, step and direction outputs. Those go then directly into the 
step out driver board and then you still have reset you have your a4 output and instead of uh, using five millimeter true hole leds they are all now with uh, smd leds and um, what else do we have we have the probe and start input hold input and here's the enable input so it did switch around a little bit uh, from the position i'm still using the beefy usb uh, inputs I, what are they called usb b i think because they have the strongest mechanical connection which you would like to have and uh, this is the back of the board and with my logo this is actually uh almost one-to-one -one, um design of my cnc milled mill that i built back then and this was this board was designed 09 2020 so this is the most current version and um yes you still have the a access uh, it has a switch now so you can turn it off if you don't need it and uh, it has the spindle enable coolant output also with uh, i'm sorry about the shadows here uh, with uh, indicator leds so you can see exactly if it's on or off and now my light went out uh, anyway, I think I showed you all that's important and uh, if you do have any questions Please leave them in the comments and I actually sold over 100 of these CNC controllers and uh, Everybody is happily using them uh, As I said it runs on Gerbil which is free software and all the G code senders well most of them like 99% are free and what I personally use and recommend is UGS universal g-code sender and uh, it just works I mean I have with this board run code with a g-code with over 340,000 lines without a problem so it is pretty stable uh, Gerbil also gets updated once in a while to add new features and um, yes this is it um, as I said if you have any questions please leave them in the comments and also thank you again for all your support uh, be it via my Banggood affiliate link or through my Patreon page and um, anyway i wish you all the best stay safe and i talk to you on the next video take care everybody